What's going on my dudes one step here with some uh pretty fun news regarding the possible future of mortal kombat 1 as we all might have seen and or guessed they haven't really shown off cameos for combat pack 2 or year 2 for mortal kombat 1 and an ed boon over on twitter slash x gave us a really cool sneak peek idea of what they were thinking when it comes to the cameo fighters because he says here in a meeting with design we threw around ideas for mk1 year 2 cameo fighters specifically some names that came up included these four and then he goes on to ask like which ones do you want to see added the most so subscribe here for more mortal kombat 1 and fighting game content and let's talk about these choices he only gave us four i'm assuming because he wanted to do a poll and he only do four things per poll and here he says blanc which is like the mkx old lady that to me i was like whoa what an option that would be hilarious then kid thunder which really caught my attention as a longtime raiden main those that don't know that is the mk2 raiden friendship which he also brought back in mk11 this is not set in stone by the way he's just asking here you know he's saying some names that came up included these ones and he's asking us who would you like to see the most so again don't say don't think that whoever wins this poll is going to be in the game he's just gathering an idea and the third option is invincible which is of course omni man's son and that i mean i thought that they were going to do correlating cameos for the combat packs anyways like it just kind of makes sense to do omni man as a main fighter and then invincible as a cameo i thought we might get homelander as the main character and then uh billy butcher as the cameo or something like that you get the idea so uh invincible to me also just makes sense because because we have Omni Man. And then the last one, Chucky. Now, at first I was like, wait, how the heck would they do Chucky? But then we have Farah, and Farah is an awesome cameo. And so Chucky, I don't know if he would play the same, of course, as Farah. I don't think he would, but but the idea of a very small uh, uh, character becoming a cameo, we have now seen in action uh, again as Farah. So, so Chucky isn't a too far crazy of an option. Me, personally, I voted for Kid Thunder. I Because he brings up right here. This is what I thought even before I read this part. He says, there would be some great team ups. He says Raiden plus Kid Thunder. That's exactly why I voted Kid Thunder. I was like, that'd be so cool. Like if we can't have Raiden as a cameo to have Kid Thunder would be really cool. Maybe offering you a somewhat of a teleport. But we already have Motaro and Kung Lao for that. Maybe a projectile, maybe electric fists. I don't know. Omni-Man plus Invincible, obviously. Then for combat pack two, we can play as Ghostface and Chucky as a cameo. That would also be really cool. I'm not the biggest Ghostface Chucky fan, but that idea, I'll admit, is pretty cool. And then of course, anybody with Blanc or Blanc Che, Blanca, I don't know. And as of right now, to no surprise, uh, Kid Thunder is losing. I, I know. I, I voted for him because that was my choice, but I get why Invincible is actually winning this poll. And then, of course, I also get why Chucky's in second place. I am surprised at how low of a difference from second to third at Blanc it is like at, Chucky's at 32.9 so 33 percent and then Blanc's at 18.1 so 18 percent that, that is a that is a 14 percent difference I, I that is quite massive of a, of, a, of a difference there meaning I thought that more people would also go for Blanc the old lady from MKX I thought that would be a hilarious idea to everybody and they'd be like oh yeah vote for her but I guess not I mean I get it there's Chucky there's Invincible there's some really cool options and though I said earlier this is not set in stone these are names that are getting brought up for combat pack 2 and i'm interested because that means that if they have been brought up that they're not actually in the works or, or done yet so which means that if let, let's go ahead and say that invincible wins this poll and that is the name that is the character that they're gonna bring as a cameo that that means they're gonna start from scratch essentially or maybe they have blueprints for all these characters i guess i don't know but if they're starting from scratch that they gotta get working pretty hard and fast on the animations the moves the frame data all of that stuff for a cameo still goes into play and then of course how they work per character and certain interactions certain maps yada 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 there's so much to go into it not just the three to five moves that are given to a cameo i mean hey man if their team can handle it, their team can handle it. i i love to see it we're not gonna get kid thunder which kind of sucks i i mean i really hope we do that would be so cool i mean what if this is more like a uh this these are the four they're going to add or you know four out of the five they're gonna add or whatever they're just kind of gathering an idea of who maybe they want to release first i mean these are all personally great options my, again i don't really care for chucky but because we're getting ghostface and i can't do anything about that chucky kind of does make sense in that aspect and again as a package here i think it's great i think they're fun and cool options we kind of use raiden as a cameo in the story so i kind of 
see Kid Thunder being a viable option. Invincible and Chucky, but they're they're all just really cool, I think. And at the end of the day, if they truly have no cameos drawn up yet, and they're kind of getting an idea from the from the audience, who do they want? Who do we want to add as cameos? If they're giving an idea, it is really cool to see that they are giving us options. Like let's go to, again, let's say that whoever wins this poll, they're going to make a cameo. Like that is cool that they're giving the overall audience a, a, an actual option. Who do you want to see? Like we're not just gonna add Kid Thunder for no reason. We're gonna see who do they actually want to see as a cameo oh they want invincible cool we'll add him instead again not my top choice but i love that that is a choice i love that us the audience are given that option to go and choose who do we want to see and with that that is a step in the right direction i think they should be going in the audience has more of a say of you know who we see as characters and cameos i just think that is overall really cool short sweet simple to the point guys let me know down below your thoughts on this tweet who do you want to see out of these four options come to mortal kombat one as a cameo and why let me know all your thoughts down below if you haven't already subscribe here for more mortal kombat and fighting game content take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more mortal kombat news guides reactions and more